All right, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to know when to get into a trade. When is the right entry? When is the right perfect time to get into a trade, guys? So make sure you guys watch to the end of this video because I know what it's like to have so much uncertainty when it comes to trading. I know what it's like to struggle finding the perfect setups or what, what it's like to actually know when to get into a trade, right? Sometimes it can be confusing. So I want to create this video for you guys to help you with your trading. So at the end of this video, you'll be a pro. You'll be able to understand at least how and feel confident when when to enter a trade. So with that being said, let's dive in guys. So we're looking at gold right here, as you guys could see, and I had these levels already kind of marked off. But if we notice over here on the left hand side, you can see that this is a level over here where price has come to the past okay, in the past and rejected this area of structure. One thing I need to know as a trader is two things. As soon as we see price reject a certain area, if price comes back up to that certain area, what I need to look for is a bearish candle formation. Okay, there's two things. If I see price break above this area, okay, like it did here and it closed, I wait for the next one. I will not enter even though it did close. Okay, so focus on this guys. Pay close attention. Look at this 30 minute candle over here. Okay, although this 30 minute candle closed above these previous highs, well above obviously this most recent high, but I'm talking about these highs over here, which are significant. I always need to wait. I need to wait for this next candle to create its wick. Okay, to then continue to impulse the upside. And usually if you want to play it even more safe, I would say wait for the retest of this previous level of resistance and wait for it retest it as a level of support for a clean continuation to the upside. Remember, the trend is your friend. As cliche as that sounds, it's the reality of the team. Closure, okay? Although we had this wick here, so that's telling me that the bears were definitely fighting the bulls on, on trying to uh, put a lot of bearish pressure on it. You can see this huge wick right here. So I would have waited for sure, but a lot of a lot of traders at this point, they see that, they, they start looking for bias, right? And so then this is how you can avoid, you know, getting stuff that hits your stop loss and you're wondering why you see this closure above here and you, you go down to the 15 or the five and you're like, oh, look at this. This is this is a strong closure above this high here, right? Like, look at this. We closed well. Look at this here, guys, on the five minute strong bullish candle above these previous highs. And then boom, hits your stop loss, right? This is what I'm talking about. Obviously, the higher time frames, like the 30 minute, the one hour are going to be much, much more significant. And so this is why it's important, okay, to wait for closures, right? To wait for a price to come back down and retest these levels because look at what it did on the one hour time frame. It created this massive wick and then it came back down and it fell if anything i was looking um at this example here so it pushed up 44 pips and then boom capitulated all the way down over 161 pips right so this is this is the type of stuff i'm talking about team where you have to realize that price okay will tend to do things like this right so you have to understand that more often than not price will come down to these areas and retest that area knock out a bunch of buyers and get people to buy knock them out and then boom go in the actual direction it was intending, right? And if you look at it, it's the same resistance area. It's the same area where price is respected in the past, right? Because price was, what was price doing here? We created a high, right? Retesting this high area here, came back down, creating a higher low, came here, created another higher high, came back down here and created a higher low, right? And then carried out a higher high. And then look what it did here. This is a high, right? So it failed to create a higher high at this point. So I know that this is an area of structure that's important. So whenever it comes to this high, even if we're down here, but it comes back up to this high, right? It could be an area of supply. Uh, yeah, it is actually an area of supply. You can see here, right? Price came up this area instantly rejected right so whenever it comes to areas like this that are important team make sure that you also pay close attention so when you're trying to get a breakout trade wait for confirmation right but this is the most important thing is going down to the smaller time frame, like the 30 minute not so not so much the 15 not so much the 30 uh, or the five focus on the 30 minute and the one hour time frame because this is what's going to help you avoid doing something like this and saying oh yeah we're gonna go much higher here and hitting your stop loss that's why you see a lot of traders when they're back testing and stuff like that or when they're actually taking trades and they backed us and go back and see what did I do wrong at look I was this was a clean upwards trend or whatever right no if you realize it it wasn't it actually already broke it failed to create a higher high so we've got a high right we we're creating higher low higher high right and what did we do here we failed to create a higher high that's indication number one indication number two it actually broke below this previous low here which was a uh, an area of structure but this isn't the main area that i would focus on so i like coming up to this high i would look for shorts at this area once we get a rejection right even though it probably still could be just stuck in a range right so we need to realize that because it could shift from uh you know i'm just because it broke this trend line here it could also shift into a sideways range do you see this right sideways range so just keep that in mind team right there's so many variables but the 
most important thing is waiting for confirmation, understanding where you are in the markets, right? So we broke this upwards, right? We broke to the downside, but we failed to create a higher high. Indication number one, right? That we're not looking for buys now at this point because we've already failed to create a higher high, okay? And uh, we've actually broken below, but none of this existed. So we, we we rejected this area and we failed to create a higher. So rejecting this area, this would be the third time rejecting this high. That would be a clean indication to me that we're looking for a continuation to the downside. Okay? Now, guys, I will create much more videos for you guys. As you guys know, we post videos every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Not only that, we are live, okay? And the most important thing, guys, is making sure that you're subscribed to the family. Make sure you're also a part of our, our free Telegram group if you haven't joined in, guys. Make sure you guys check that out. Also, if you want to be able to take the trades I take, you want to maybe take your trading to that next level, make sure you guys also check out my VIP Inner Circle. I do private live Zoom calls with my students, helping them level up their trading and take their trading to that next level. So check that out. Also, if you're looking for a broker that is regulated, guys, check out the link below as well. I have the link to my broker. Um, there is a sign up bonus with my link as well. So take advantage of that. And that is pretty much it with this video, guys. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video and you want more videos like these, let me know in the comments below, guys. I read every single comment, guys, and I appreciate you guys. And I'll catch you until the next time. Bye for now.